We are uh, backstage at Bonnaroo 2007 with Nels Klein of Wilco. Welcome, Nels. Hello, thank Thanks you. Thanks for taking a second, sitting down with us and doing a little little shooting the bull session here, if you will. We're just talking a little bit about Sky Blue Sky, the new Wilco album. And um, I was telling Nels the DVD companion that comes with the CD, if you buy the bonus, if you're a fan like myself, uh, really helped me understand the album. And he said he hasn't seen it yet. No, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I, I would like to see it at some point. There's some great shots of you in there uh, with the, the line of guitars. I don't know where it's at. Oh, God, and, it's in our loft. Yeah, and you're, you're saying something about, you know, um, that the different influences in your life, you feel that it's kind of coming out of your consciousness well, in the yeah. current, current album. Certainly a lot of things uh, that have to do with maybe a few of the things I've accumulated over the years, but certainly th that which I was concerned with as a, in my mid-teens, mm. or just uh, coming out of my pores now. All Some that, Buffalo Springfield. All that and... Buffalo Springfield kind of uh, faces, yeah. you know, the faces and uh, Allman Brothers Band. Awesome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so is this your first trip to Bonnaroo? No, we were here three okay. years ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if uh, you were part of the part of the gang at that point. I was. That's probably right at the beginning, correct? That was right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. My first few months in the ensemble. Awesome. Awesome. So how has it been on the road touring the new album so far? I know you guys are this out will, on the road almost always. <laughs> yeah, this will be our uh, our fourth gig of the tour. Okay. And so it's just getting going, and it's been really good. We played, uh, opened up at Davenport, Iowa. Right. There was a brawl that night. Oh, really? Yeah, but it, I don't think anyone was seriously hurt. There was a lot of blood around, I saw. Um, <laughs> kind of stopped the show for a I minute. Bet. I went over to try to suss it out. It was kind of gnarly. <laughs> um, but, the, but it was really nice anyway. But they didn't do that in Cincinnati and then Cincinnati now. Cincinnati was great. people there. And then Indianapolis, and now we're here. Awesome. And I know you guys have been playing a few of the newer cuts for a while, like Impossible Germany and Walkin. Um, I caught you at Tall Stacks last year in Cincinnati, actually, oh, kind of the festival right, thing. Right, right. And I was like, wow, oh, the new stuff just sounds amazing, and rooting for it to make the album, of course it did. Oh, good, so, yeah. Um, yeah, we did do more songs than ended up on the record, so it was kind of a crapshoot there. I wasn't sure what the final cut was going to be. Yeah, and Thanks Like It didn't make it. But, you no. know, that's uh Well, they that's put that decision. in the VW commercial now. That's right, that's <laughs> Which, right. That was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's been kind of fun to, to see that kind of unfold as well. I think that, is that the things I get is on some bonus, another thing. They that sent I've, it to I radio, yeah. like as an individual song, because we played it, oh. you know. So, but, yeah, I don't even know these things. <laughs> But There's anyway. so much going on, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, you guys are playing today. It should be really. Great. But you played last night as well. Tell us a little bit about. Oh last yes, night. last night is in the something else tent, which is they've turned into kind of a uh, a dark and uh, intimate jazz room. Wow. And uh, I played with the Scott Amendola band. Uh, Scott Amendola is a, a drummer from the, the Bay Area. Yes. Or that's where he resides. He's originally from New Jersey, but. Mm -hmm. And I've been playing, uh, he's the drummer in my trio, the Nelson Klein Singers yes. also, and I've been playing with Scott now for, I guess, about seven or eight years on and off, wow. but mostly on. And this was his group, uh, which I've been playing in for quite a while, with Jenny Scheinman on violin. Oh, wow. And uh, John Shiflett on bass, and we have various other floating members. Um, the last record was also with Jeff Parker awesome. on guitar. Yeah. Um, although he couldn't, even though Tortoise were playing yeah. at Bonnaroo, they yeah, left that's the right. day before. Oh. So he couldn't play. Logistics. I came in with the crew and played before uh, the rest of the Wilcos got here. Wow. And it was really, really nice. We were playing a little too quiet, maybe, because the oh, Flaming really? Lips were kind of jamming along with us. <laughs> um, that was kind of interesting. Yeah, we talked to Wayne yesterday. He was getting revved up for their show last night. So are yeah, we going to get anything? have to really psych up, man, to do what he does all the time. I don't get it. I mean, the guy is just, like, out of his head it's all true, the time. True commitment. True. True yeah, commitment definitely. to mayhem. Are we going to hear anything um, from the Nels Klein Trio this year, as far as recording? Are you guys oh, in the, the studio at all? Uh, yeah, the singers. Brand sorry. new CD comes out in about nine days. Nine? Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's called and Draw Breath. Draw Breath. On Cryptogramophone, the same label that uh, put out Scott Amendola Band's last two records. Excellent. Uh, LA-based label. So you're excited about that, I'm sure. I'm very happy about it. And that, in fact, Mr. Glenn Kochi from Wilco is a guest on one song. Oh, we love Glenn. Playing percussion and... Uh, uh, Glockenspiel and Crotales. I didn't know Glenn played Glockenspiel. Oh, he's a vibraphone. He's a full he's percussion got all of student uh, of, of excellence in his day, and you know, graduated uh, all these concert percussion and 
wow. drum corps type things. He's a Kentucky boy. See, so University we know. of Kentucky, That's but right. originally from the suburbs of Chicago. Right, right. I, I also am a University of Kentucky guy, so uh, I, I take some uh, well, his, affiliation. His uh, former uh, academic advisor and the dean were both at the Indianapolis gig. Really? Yeah. And so I, did I he had get my to bag do a solo that was pretty extra super duty? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Glenn and I played. Uh, we do little tours sometimes solo and duo. Yeah. And we played at his school um, at last year, and uh, and that was he got to do plenty of his stuff wow. that night. Yeah, I he bet. was doing his solo music, and then I would do a, I would do a solo uh, guitar set of I guess fairly extreme sound and looping and. And Doing then some we play slide duets. also, or uh, no lap steel on no the solo steel. stuff, okay. Okay. but some open tune things. Wow! And then we do a Sonic Youth cover of oh, Carrie really? Coltrane instrumental, oh. and one of my pieces, and some other mayhem. We're working up some other music if we ever Very do another cool. tour. We've done two tours. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> Actually, you know, it's funny. On the road with Wilco, I sleep more than I sleep when I'm at home. Yeah. Yeah, those tour buses. They're very, very. Uh, somehow womb-like the hum kind of the puts hum, you to sleep the motion the air conditioning <laughs> great well i'm glad yeah. that you're getting rest amidst because you're doing lots and lots of things and it's very exciting this is a really uh productive and busy time for me and i feel very lucky uh and so it's my time to play and i love playing so i'm just great. really happy um I mean, it sounds really corny, but I know I'm a really lucky person, and I'm really, really happy to be doing the work I'm doing. And I know so many individuals for whom life is uh, kind of permanently difficult because of their artistic desires, and uh, hmm. uh, I just am happy to be doing what I can do here. That's awesome. You have that appreciation of it is pretty special, and not taking it for granted, you know? Hell no. Man, I've been <laughs> doing this forever, and well, it's just, now it's just sort of uh, blossomed in a new, a new level, and... Uh, yeah, kind of won the lottery. I can say as a longtime <laughs> Wilco fan, and even back to the Uncle Tupelo days, that your addition to the lineup has been an incredible one for the band, and I think it's oh. as tight as it's ever been. Well, and, thank you. you know, well, we're, I, we're having a really good time. I think that when Pat and I came on board, yeah. um, it just seemed to work right away. Everyone was having a good time, and it's sort of, and it's definitely still like that. Yeah, I know. Another once again, last reference to the DVD you haven't seen yet, but yes. the uh, the correlation and how everything, everyone just commenting, it just works. It just works. We didn't have to do all these overdubs. We didn't have to do all this stuff. We just do it live, and it worked. And the songs being the songs, that, that just kind of speaks for the album to me in a lot of ways. It's interesting because um, certainly it was a humane recording process, especially without the headphones. Oh wow! Because um, that can really tire you out. It's a little unrealistic, but. Um, but I think that um, Scott Amendola was saying that he has been hearing tracks on the radio up in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and it and it sort of stood out to him because the sound of it was so immediately different. It was so uh, it was warm and sort of un the, the frequencies are unhyped and whatnot. Yeah. And he said in that way it sort of just jumped right out. And I, I would never have imagined that. I don't really uh, know how it fits into anything. But yeah. it was great to hear that. So uh, if the, the sort of fundamental concerns being addressed to their fullest extent is the style. It mm -hmm. seems to be kind of paying off sonically and, and uh, maybe doing some nice things for the music. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks for taking a minute and talking to us. I My really pleasure. appreciate Thank it. We you for snagged listening. you, and I'm glad I recognized you there. And um, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go hide out in the for a moment and suck up some air conditioning. That is the best plan today. It's super hot. There's bugs. You know, it's Tennessee. I saw some very large moths last night. <laughs> Very large. They were dive bombing. I was, <laughs> Gotta stay away from that. As a person born and raised in Southern California, it's kind of odd because I, I shun the sun. Yeah. So yeah. I must, I must cool off. I feel like I'm melting. It's the humidity I'm factor melting. here, right? Yeah. Well, it's you know what? It's not as hot and humid as it was three years ago. I don't think. You might the be right. Humidity was off the scale that day. But it's pretty hot. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but, so we'll let you get into the AC. Thank but, you. Uh, we're backstage at Bonnaroo talking to Nels Klein and Wilco and WOXY.com.